Grade here with a T-150 replay on steps. As always, I, uh, well not as always, but unless I have a compelling reason not to, I do t take my heavies over to the E1 area. I know some people consider that a waste on the encounter maps. However, I think that we should always have at least a holding force over here on the E1 area just so you don't get into a two-way shooting match over on the flag later on in the map. Here I'm taking a shot out just to, if I hit anything, I'd be happy. If not, whatever. Since I didn't hit anything to console myself, I do give a little love tap here to the T-50. And then keep going. Now here I was uh, moving out with the intention of hitting that PZ-38NA. However, the M6 pops up, so I take a snapshot at him. He hits me, but I get the better of it by 60 points. However, with the four heavies showing, I obviously don't want to keep doing that. Do bounce that KV-1S shot, and just as I'm angling to head back out, this Churchill 1 decides, no, let me head out, you know, straight on. And uh, <laughs> I let him know, I don't know what the heck he's doing. And just as I'm turning around, he backs up again. So uh, I stick where I am. Now... I just want to pause a moment here and take control of the camera and show how many reds are facing us here. For whatever reason, the enemy team has decided that it's going to lemming train uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten of their tanks our direction. We've already killed one of their scouts. So that's 11 tanks tied up or dead over here at the rocks. This is exactly the situation that you want to be in where you have a holding force. It's good news in that, hey, most of the team is over here. The bad news is, hey, I'm over here and so is most of the enemy team. Uh, there I trade another round of shots with the M6. I get 10 more damage than he did, but still, I don't want to keep playing that. Looking at the minimap, the Churchill and the KV-1 have noticed uh, the problem that they're in and have started heading across the map. However, there's absolutely no way we can get out of this. We've got to hold this until that capture goes through, and so far we've only got one on the capture. Hellcat that's move, moved off of it, and it looks like a 3601 that's heading over to get on the cap. I hear this, oh no, yep, this T-34 for whatever reason goes way out, gets himself killed, and unfortunately now he's completely destroyed my line of fire on this side. So after this I've got to completely rotate around. So far, the KV-2 and the Churchill have been holding off the enemy team through that passage. But that T-14 sneaks by. So now I've got to cover the uh, eastern side of the rocks. And hope that my teammates here can cover the western side just fine. Punch through his armor, bounce his shot. Now he can reload quicker, or he should have been able to reload quicker. There it is. I bounce his second shot and take him out. Now that KV-2 is almost dead. That, and that leaves just the Churchill, I believe. There goes the KV-2. Cap is down to... Oh, we just got our third on the cap, so it's down to 40 seconds. They've been killing the other tanks that have been filtering over there. We still have all the he well, what's left of their heavies over here. But still a good portion of their force is over here. Another nice shot in that 3001. And there goes my Churchill. I am over here by myself. 
hoping for a good shot on that KV-1S, but I didn't get it. 3601 behind me. I got to back off to try to get him. The turret turns the wrong way. And uh, between the KV-1S and the VK, I'm completely dead. However, their entire enemy team is now over on the rocks and slower than dirt. And they've got eight seconds to get all the way across the map. That's why you always want to send a couple of tanks over to the rocks because you never know when the enemy team is going to lemming train over there and you can tie up the vast majority of their tanks and give you time to cap. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, replay. As always, the stats will be list or, or a link to the stats will be listed in the description below. And have fun.